everyone. I designed these clocks in Fusion 360. Um, I actually think they're called train station clocks. I'm going to paint them black and I will have to paint them twice as this paint is a bit of translucent in this first layer. So I'm going in there in all the details and when I painted them all once I am going to paint them one more time again going into all the details. Then when that has dried I'm taking them off this little double sided tape that I had on a stick. And I'm just going to paint the back side of these clocks and I'm doing that again twice. I also printed these small clock arms, that is the ones I use for the balloon clock uh, and they will fit very nice for this one. And if you're going to get the print file for this you will get these clock arms and the train station clock in one package. So both of the prints are there. I'm going to use some silver ink here for a dry brush method where you take a little of the ink and you wipe it off your brush again and then you brush it onto the piece you are doing this to. So I'm just gonna do that on the clock and on the clock hands. Then I scaled some clock faces into the size that I wanted for these and I printed them out. I will leave a link for these in the info box below so you can print them yourself. Cut them out and then I glue them into place with some paper glue and I'm using quite a bit but I want to make sure that they are sitting nice and tight. Make sure the glue is all dry before you continue. Then I am just glazing them and I'm making sure that they got glaze all over because I don't want my resin to ruin the paper underneath. I'm using super glue gel to glue on the clock hands and I'm going to let that dry for a nice amount of time so that I'm sure it is all hardened and dry and then I'm going to use my UV resin. I am letting the UV resin dome in this little indent for the clock face and I'm not touching it in any way, I'm just making sure that it is kind of sliding out to the edges. Then I use the UV torch slowly from far away and then closer up onto the uh, clock face just like Aura taught us to do. I made the 3D print file for this little lamp and I printed it, painted it white and here I have a piece of a cord that I did not use for anything. So I'm making a knot in one end and then I'm just pulling it through the lamp so that it is hanging like this. You could put a little bulb in there if you wanted to, an LED bulb. I decided not to do that. I'm taking some white polymer clay here and I am shaping this little uh, cone th uh, shape here, cutting off the top and the lower part of it, shaping it again a tiny bit. And then I'm going to poke a hole down to it. And I'm making sure that the wire from the lamp can fit into the little hole. And then I'm just going to bake it according to the instruction on the clay. And I'm gluing the cord into the little hole of this little piece that we just made. And then I'm just going to use my super glue gel to glue in the light and the two of the lamps that I made. I'm only going to use two of them. So I'm just doing that. That's all there is for this craft. I hope you liked it. 
Now I finally got a little more done in the watchmaker's den. I'm happy with these wall clocks or station clocks. Thank you for watching. Please give it a like if you like this. It really means a lot to me because it shows the algorithm that you like this content and will show my videos up a little more. So thank you for joining. Happy crafting!